Special member request, we have Incubus, 11 a.m., Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'm going to play through all the different parts right at the beginning here. After that, I'll go back through and give a full explanation for it. Do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to let me know you like this video and want to see more stuff by Incubus. And now, let's give it a try. Okay, so just a standard tuning with this, EAD, GBE, and this intro section here, uh, we'll see it again in some various fashions and forms throughout the song. Uh, we start with just a couple pickup notes here, and we want the uh, G to C, the 3E, 3A, and then we'll come off to this big uh, E5 chord that uh, you know is kind of the basis of the song here. And I kind of like to fret it this way where you know, I'll just do the twos on the A and the E, have that loaded up, or the A and the D there, sorry, have that loaded up, and then we'll have the four on the G there ready to go, and then of course just the open B and E, and the, so, you know, we can hit the, the threes on the E and A just like this, with the middle finger, and then just come right off to the open E, and then it's strum through the chord a few times. Now we can just go right back to those threes. All right, E, A, E on the third fret. Come off and we do a little pull off from that two on the D to open back to the three E to the open D. So just slowly. All right, and we just cycle that. cruise through that a few times and then the uh, final time through you know we do our same open E to the E5 chord but then we jump down to the A and D string here pick through that we go open A open D to 4 on the D to open A and then we do a, a quick hammer on pull off open 2 open on the D then 3A open D so we went All right, and here it kind of veers off into two guitars, sort of. The electric that we did in the intro gets a little bit uh, mellowed out there in the background. And then we get more of an, an acoustic, just doing more of a chord thing. Now in the, uh, I guess what you'd say, this will be like the intro second section slash the chorus section. All right, and it's just kind of doing that same open E5 uh, chord there. You know, the open E, two on the A and D, four on the B, doubling that open B and the open E there. So just all E's and B's here. All right, so it strums through that. But instead of doing a, kind of the picking the electric does there, it just switches more to like a chord now. And this is like a, a C with a G bass note here. Basically just those threes on the E and A, we do the two D and the open G and just kind of a handful of strums on that. Okay. Something like that. All right, and then we do the same E5 chord to start the next section. And then here we add that, that same kind of picking that ended 
the intro, you know, the open A, open D4, open A, do the pull off. Okay, that same little bit that ended the uh, initial intro section there. And then uh, just swap in that first section again, the E5 to that C with the G bass note. And here we finish it off by coming down to this big A sus2 with the open A2 on the D and G, open B and E. Just a shuffle strum here, a handful of them. All right, and then finish with that same C with the G bass note, the threes with the two and the open G. With the verse, uh, things get a little bit kind of simplified, you know. You, Maybe just mellow out with the picking a little bit. You know, nothing too too different here. It's the same open E5 chord. And then we can do our picking of the threes on the E and A, do the little two open pull off D, back to the three E open D. All right, and we just cruise through that three times. And then we finish the final part of the verse by doing a slide up from that uh, you know, the C with the G at the threes here on the E and A. And, you know, our two on the D, just hit that, slide it up to fives and fours now, just to get that, you know, that variant of the A chord here. Or sorry, this would be like a D with the A on top. Right, and if you hit an open G or B under it, no big deal. All right, do it just a handful of strums at that fives with the four and then just right back to a couple of those threes with the two, and then just finish it by doing a little hammer round pull off at open two, open A, back to the three E, open A. And for this pre-chorus section, just kind of a fun, like upward arpeggio thing happening here. Picking through that same kind of deal, uh, same area really. Um, here we're in like that more A, uh, sus two vibe now, so, you know, the open A, 2D, we'll do the 4G because we want to double it with this open B under it. And basically you'd hit like the open A and then pick like the 2D open A, come down, do the 4G, 2D open A. So we're kind of like working our way through this upward arpeggio. All right, and that initial open A, kind of hold it a moment, let it hang, and then start picking through. Come down, hit that open B. All right, and we let that open B just hang for a moment there. And then we pick back through the 4G, 2D, open A. So we're just kind of hitting that double B there. Um, pick right through it again, the open B, 4G, 2D, open A. So just slowly here, it'd be something like And then the next section, it's pretty much the same deal, but all we do is we change that open A bass note to a three now on the A. Okay, so we just swap the A for a C note and pretty much pick through it just the same way. All right, and we just cruise through those two different uh, progressions, you know, just switching that open A to three, just cruise through that a couple times. And we finish it all by just uh, doing straight up strums now, not really picking through, just strumming it. That same chord, and uh, you know, you can even throw in like an open low E with this just to compound it a little bit. You know, the, so open E, open A, 2D, 4G, open B there. Just a, a handful of shuffle strums there. All right, add that three on the A now and just give that a couple strums. And then we finish by just kind of hitting this single a G bar chord almost, but you can throw in like the open B and E and under it. So we got the three E, five on the A and D, four G. And then just drop it down to like the big F's, you know, sus chord now, but by doing our bar chord shape, the one E, uh, three on the A and D, two G, and then you can keep the open B under it. Sounds cool. For the bridge section, we just kind of bounce between two chords. It's a uh, similar thing we did in the uh, chorus end where we have our G bar chord, that three with the fives, 
and you can just kind of hit the the base of it like the e a d string then come down hit like the d g b string the you know five d four g open b and then just drop it down and hit you know the bulk of that f bar chord the one threes and the two and it's just that right there pretty much seven times be as busy about it as you want. Um, and then at the end, we just come off to a big open E chord now. Let that, let that hang, maybe strum on it a few times. Switch it to like the E7 now, just add that three on the B, give it a strum. And then we just pick upwards through that, the open E, three, B, one, G, two, D. Okay, just a few upward arpeggios on that, and then we can get into our uh, chorus section again. 